call from my good friend, Jörg Newman, the head of Microsoft Flight Simulator. He told me about this once in a lifetime, out of this world opportunity. So I'm here in Budapest, the capital of Hungary. Jörg, he's around here somewhere. Let's go find him. Jörg! Hey, Paris. It's great to see you. Yeah, great to see you. Thanks for coming to Budapest. Of course. What am I doing here? I'll tell you on the way. We have a boat to catch. A boat? Yep. We don't have a plane? Nope. Come on, Paris. this place. What kind of aircraft are you storing in here? Ha, <laughs> dude, it's much cooler than that. All right, Paris, are you ready for this? You know I'm ready for this. All right, let's go. Welcome to the world of Dune. This is incredible. Come on, I want you to meet someone. Hey, hey, how's it going? How are you, man? It's good to see you. Good to see you. Paris, I would like to introduce Patrice Vermette, Academy Award winning production designer of Dune. It is very nice to meet you. I'm a huge fan of Dune. Now, Patrice, can you tell me what is this place? Well, this is the warehouse uh, where we actually keep most of the props and the set deck elements that we used on Dune part one and part two. Now, Jorg, how did all this get started? So it goes back to November 2021. Dune had just hit the movie theaters worldwide, and we got a call from Legendary, and they had the idea that we bring an ornithopter into Microsoft Flight Simulator. And me being a lifelong science fiction reader and fan, a big, huge fan of the Frank Herbert books, how could I say no? OK, now it makes sense. After seeing the trailer at the Xbox Showcase, I understand why you brought me here. You guys want to take a look? Because we actually do have a couple of ornithopters here if you want to see. You want to take a look? That would be awesome. Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's do it. All right. Look at this. It's a one-on-one -on -one real sized ornithopter. That's amazing. Sure, well, thank you. The knee likes things to be plausible, so that's why they were built to look military, rugged, and stealth. Now, here's the most important question. Were they built to fly? Funny you mentioned, because I've been asked that question on a couple of occasions. Uh, no, they don't fly. They, they are heavy. They're 11 tons. So, Jorg, you had to get this working in the game. How did you do this in flight sim? Yeah, it was actually interesting. So, in, in general, ornithopters can fly and do fly. This particular one, Given that it weighs 11 tons, that's going to be a little bit harder, specifically because it's not really doing the ornithopter bird flap. It does oscillation of the blades. And we currently don't have the material science to get the thrust and the lift. But on Arrakis, I think this is absolutely possible. And in Flight Sim, we made it work. Patrice, we're here. Can we go in? Absolutely. All right, let's do it. Normally, we'd go in through the uh, climbing up the landing gear, but this will do. Yeah, so what's cool about this, Paris, is that all those buttons are actually realistically hooked up to the system. Master engine switch, what you're doing there above those, the red, are basically all the lights. And as you notice, um, it's all analog, because in the world of Dune, there's no thinking machines. Thinking machines have been illegal for 10,000 years. Yeah, that was actually fascinating when we implemented it. Because it's a science fiction, mm -hmm. we thought, oh, it's glass cockpits. Yeah. Everything is going to be computerized. Like, none of it is. This is a very practical helicopter almost like from the 1960s. So, Jorg, in the first movie, the Thopter was able to do a lot of cool moves and maneuvers. You're going to be able to reproduce that in Flight Sim? Oh, yeah, totally. I mean, the really cool design that you guys came up with is each blade is independently controlled, so each blade has its own lift and thrust. And that means it can go from a really stable hover to a steep dive and back to a glide instantaneously. I would just say thank you that you designed such an awesome and realistic machine, because that's what we do. We bring realistic machines to life. But if you want to see a little bit more about the game design, Absolute. I have something for you. Absolutely, I'd love to see. All right, so the setup for this uh, expansion is that you are an Atreides pilot on a Rockus flying an ornithopter. Here is what we built. We basically built this section of Arrakis. Here's the capital city of Arkeen. 
There's a botanical garden, we have that as well. And the first thing we do is we train you up. The fast takeoff, fast landing, and then the deep dive. And then we take you to some of the extreme locations, like the bow of the cliff, the hole in the rock, the red chasm. You really have to show your pilot skills. And then, towards the end, then there's a secret mission, which I can't talk about today, but that basically wraps up the experience. It's gonna be great. Super exciting, eh? Hey. It was great to see you again. Paris, thank you for coming. Thank you so much for having me. All right, Jorg, where to next? Well, I don't know what they eat on Arrakis, but this is Budapest, and I hear they have excellent goulash. I know a place. Let's go.